So today's question comes from Love and Fun, and he's basically saying he's a big fan of the Alto TS-315 IM2, uh, and he's asking for a comparison between the ICOA from LD Systems and, of course, the TS-315. Uh, he wants to know the pros and cons, and that's pretty much it. So, Love and Fun, this video is for you. It's going to be about what I know about the LD sound. So today I'm going to talk about a speaker that I don't talk about and that's the LG system. That's the brand and one of the big speakers that they have is the ICOA and I don't talk about it because well we're in Canada and I'm not just the guy on YouTube. I'm also a guy who has a showroom with product that we actually sell. So I have to kind of balance the two off. Uh, I look for products that fit my customers needs. So I'm very open minded but at the same time. I buy all this stuff, so I have to get it here, I have to buy it, I have to make a buying decision on what I think is best again for my customers. Uh, I try and keep an open mind. Uh, of course, there's certain things, I like this, I like that, or I don't like this, or I don't like that. And then there's politics that come into play. Sometimes the brands, you know, just brush you the wrong way, the, whoever it is, blah, blah, blah. But you gotta look beyond that. And today, we're going to do a little bit of that. So yes, I do talk about Electro Voice and Alto and other brands that I think fit for my customers' needs. Uh, but there are other brands out there, like LD System. Uh, but like I said, I can only find one other company in Canada that actually has it. And I'm not even 100% sure if they actually physically have the product or they just advertise it. Um, it doesn't seem to be that popular in retail. Here doesn't mean it isn't crazy popular in the UK because uh, LG is part of the Adam Hall Group, which is based uh, just outside of London. So I'm going to say that brand is probably very popular out there. Uh, that being said, I looked at it, tried to figure out what the price points are, and the ICOA 15-inch with Bluetooth seems to fit in the middle of both the Alto, as the price point goes, and the Electro Voice. Uh, I, again, personally haven't heard it. I do have lots of pretty pictures of it, and it looks pretty nice. I gotta say, I do like the amp plate on it. I like the box design of it. I think the engineering and design on how they actually got the speaker driver and the horn stacked up on it, all of that seems to be very, very slick on the whole unit. The things that throw me off, the weight of the product, it's like 55 pounds like 24.3 kilos that's a heavy heavy box for the amount of power they say it puts out they say it's 300 watts rms with a 1200 watt peak now it could be an incredibly efficient system and it could be like killer loud but they also state 128 db maximum so again without hearing it i can't tell you if it's closer to the electro voice when it comes to overall volume which it probably is, if not maybe a little lower than the ZLX, or if miraculously it somehow generates as much volume as the Alto TS3 series. So if I look across the whole gamut of all the features on that particular speaker versus what's going on here and why it seems to sit in the middle, I'm going to say feature-wise, it offers a lot of features like the ZLX. That display with the digital panel allowing you to do all kinds of incredible things, uh, like adjusting the bass and treble and choosing placement, all that kind of stuff. That's pretty much what we're seeing there. So they really are selling the tech, the technology in the back of that system. Uh, the price point though seems to be somewhat in the middle. So I'm going to say that probably the downside is probably not as loud as the Electro Voice. Again, that's just my opinion. Not saying it's fact. Uh, again, I don't have the speaker, so I'm speaking about something I don't have. But I do like the way the design of the speaker. I think that's a great engineering feat uh, because it is very complicated to get the base to not implode on itself. Because what happens is, if you look at the picture, I'm going to show it here for you. So we're going to talk based on this picture here. You'll notice that the horn is stacked on top of the woofer, which makes the box probably only about an inch or two deeper. The problem is, is that that subwoofer has now been recessed into the box. So as that speaker travels inwards in towards the box to generate a new sound off of it, uh, it's going to create an acoustic wave inside the box. And that has to go somewhere. And now the port's at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to assume that if you look in the box, you're going to see some sort of wave chamber form, something that allows that air 
if it's properly designed, which again, I don't have it, so I couldn't look inside to see that air move up and out of the actual system. So it has a good smooth flow of air and it's not just bouncing off the back and slamming right back into the driver. Because remember the driver now is at least three inches closer to the back wall. If they've solved those problems, then that's a really good setup. Now, the other smart thing is, is that they didn't change the overall look of the speaker. People will like traditionally for some reason to have a rectangle shape for a speaker. There was a time when Denon Pro had a set of speakers out, which were really slick, but they actually pushed the top down to fit more into it. They overlapped the actual horn over the actual driver at the bottom, which reduced the overall height and almost made the speaker box square. Uh, so, but people didn't seem to like the look of it, which is bizarre because it was a really good speaker. But I think it went away because of cosmetics. Now, remember, all these speakers are generated for the average player regardless if you're a DJ or playing in a band. Um, again, I don't know what the overall volume would sound like coming off the speaker. I do like the idea of the LD Systems layout for the Iconwa being a monitor where you can flip the horn. So if you're always going to use it as a monitor, you can reorientate the horn, which is really good. Uh, again, Electro Voice claims that they've engineered that into their speaker. So when you set it up as a monitor, it'll play properly. Uh, Alto runs themselves, they push themselves as an FRFR. Plain Jane, save you the money, give you the power, in turn, have a box that can pretty much do whatever you pump into it. And that's what they're going for, which is a very smart idea because it gives them a price point uh, that is, is great. But more importantly, it allowed them to put more of their money into the power of the speaker. So, kind of like this, kind of like that. So, do I like? It all comes down as a seller, now not as a customer, because I don't know. Uh, I see the price point. I think LD Systems looks very reasonable for price point. The opposite side is if I'm going to sell their product, um, I would have to see what the cost is on it. Because there are brands out there like Behringer, we don't sell it, not because it's another, just it's, a, it's an average brand, um, but it's terrible when it comes to margin on the price point pieces. So the Euro Live stuff like that is just horrible as a retailer to carry that product. Not to mention now Behringer, by the way, even if I want to sell it as an independent retailer, I can't. Uh, they've pulled it away from all independent retailers. They are only selling it to what they're calling mega retailers. So just a couple of stores in North America are going to have one in Canada, which is the only place, and then a couple of them in the States. And then, of course, Amazon. They're going to let Amazon have it. That's okay. If you want to buy it, use my link, buy it on Amazon if you want Behringer. But there you go. So that's what I think of LD Systems. I think I would really want to try it out. I think their product lines look really nice. Um, but that's the main reason why I don't talk about LD Systems. Because we're in Canada and they're in the UK. And there doesn't seem to be a distributor here. And I could be wrong. But if LD Systems has a look at this video and I seem to be wrong on it, by all means... Let's try getting some product here, and I'd be happy to try it out, give it a sound test, and give my honest opinion. I don't badmouth anything because everything belongs in its place, and it's just understanding what LD Systems is looking for when they actually made the speaker. Because I'm sure LD Systems, big corporation, they definitely have engineers, they definitely know what they're looking for in a product, and they definitely know who their customer is. At the end of the day, you just gotta ask yourself, am I that customer? maybe so there you go this video probably didn't help you at all but i got asked this question and i thought i'd uh, i'd throw it out there let you know what i thought about ld systems thanks for watching have a look down below i always have a link there that brings you to what supports this channel which is by the way you watching it right now and our amazon links which support us through sales on amazon so maybe we'll see you in the next video remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and comment because that's what you do on YouTube. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.